and welcome to Talking UNK. I'm Grace McDonald. Our guest today is Ford Clark, the general manager of the student radio station KLPR. Thanks for joining us, Ford. Yeah, you bet. Can you give our viewers a brief description of what KLPR is and how it operates? Certainly. Uh, KLPR is a student-run radio station on the FM dial at 91.1 and we play all different kinds of music. We play everything from Metallica to Johnny Cash. Um, we are automated. We run 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day um, with that automation unless we are live with uh, different student shows. Uh, we do have several classes that students are required to do shows uh, in for those classes, for the requirements of those classes. We also have students who volunteer to do, different, to do different shows. We also carry all home loper games, uh, athletic endeavors on KLPR in terms of football, basketball, softball, and soccer uh, on KLPR. And uh, that is quite uh, an endeavor to do uh, with all of the folks that do sports. Um, and so we are busy quite a number of weeknights and weekends, so I'm here quite a bit uh, helping the students do that as well. That sounds like a large workload for the students, but probably also for you to make sure that things run smoothly. I know a lot of my peers have created some sports shows that they work together in groups mm -hmm. on. Can you talk a little bit about how that coll collaboration has benefited students in our department? Yeah, uh, a lot of students do sports shows. They will get together in groups of two, three, or four and do one hour or two hour shows. Um, and that has been something that they have done ever since I got here uh, on campus, which was in 2015. And I know they did it before that as well. Um, but I encourage our students to do that kind of thing because we want to have as much live programming as possible on KLPR. But they get on and they talk about sports. But what I try to also encourage them to do is listen to how the professionals do it and try to do things like have a pre-recorded intro, a pre-recorded conclusion to their show, and then um, ins and outs to their breaks that they have and music and things like that going into breaks and coming out of breaks and and things like that to make it sound like the pros do um, like you hear on commercial radio stations and uh, so that they can get that kind of practice so that when they get out of school and get into a real situation so to speak that they already have some practice doing those kinds of things. I also encourage them to not just talk about sports among themselves but to do a lot of interviews and bring people in or on the phone and encourage people to call in and those kinds of things as well. What does the future of KLPR look like? What kind of goals do you have for the program? I would like us to continue to build on what we have. We have a solid foundation in terms of our sports um, and, and where we are with the things that we do with sports. I would like us to continue to build on that in terms of having more students um, and, and doing the things that we're doing now. Like in terms of football, we have a pregame show, we have a halftime highlight show, we have a postgame highlight show, and then a postgame call-in show. This is the first year that we've done uh, the highlight show at halftime, the highlight show postgame, and, um, and then a call-in show afterwards. We would like to continue to do that with basketball. The more students that we have, and the more recruiting that we do, and the more students that we get in, the easier those things are to do. We would like to continue to do that, maybe a little bit even with basketball, uh, men's and women's. We would like to continue to expand our coverage with soccer and with softball, uh, things that we just haven't been able to do in the past because we haven't had enough people to do that. The more this program expands in terms of just having more people, we're able to do those things. Well, I hope it continues to grow. Thank you. Next semester, I know that the UNK Department of Communication will be moving for library renovations. What will that look like for the student radio station? Luckily enough, because of some FCC regulations, KLPR is going to stay put. They're not going to be able to do anything with KLPR because it would have taken uh, months and months ago it would have taken us applying with the, with the Federal Communications Commission and we would have had to get permits and things like that so we're, they're just going to leave KLPR alone 
and they are going to give us access while they're working around KLPR. They're going to maintain access for myself and the students to be able to get in and out of KLPR to continue to do all the things that we are doing now. They've, they've been great. The administration here at UNK has been great. Uh, the, the folks who are working on the renovation have been great to make sure that we're going to be able to get around all of the construction and everything and uh, have, we're going to be able to use the, uh, the south fire exit to get in and out uh, to be able, when they're working on that side of the building, to, to get in and out of KLPR and uh, continue to do all the things that we've been doing. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Well, great. I hope it continues to go smoothly. But thank you for sh sharing your KLPR experiences on Talking UNK. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. That's all for this episode of Talking UNK. Please subscribe to The Antelope on YouTube for future episodes. Thanks for watching.